Hey guys, and welcome back to more Steam World Dig. We're heading back into Mushroom Pond. And we're gonna go deeper. So, there's lots of um, items and minerals to collect here, but we're so kind of far along that we almost don't need it. So, I think we're just gonna keep going. Ooh, we haven't seen those guys yet, though. Oh, so they explode into more of that goop. That's interesting. So, we need to go deeper, so that is where we will go. We have lots of health, so I'm not too worried about taking a little bit of damage from those guys. But... Okay... Just keeping an eye on the map here, so we can kind of get a good route that gets us a lot of stuff. Matt, I think we are going to quickly go around here. Because there's like a massive line of stuff over here. There's a cave there, but I'm going to progress at the moment. Can I bounce on that guy and make him explode? I can. Good job. Oop. Okay. Right along here. It's just like item after item after item. It's pretty good. Get some health. These guys can take each other out, which I'm fine with. We're gonna hop over here so we can grab this item. Um, oops. <laughs> don't want to be an acid. If we don't have to be. Oop. Oh, nice. We deflected him. Seven gold for defeating that enemy. That's the thing we've had for a long time, but I haven't really seen too much of it. But I guess that maybe just haven't been paying attention. She's like, you kill those guys, you don't get any gold. So, it tells you that you get gold when you kill enemies. So it's not a real consistent thing. So, but that's fine. We'll just continue with how we're going. that there isn't that's really interesting oh it's right there that's why I'm like it looks like he want to break you at the end there but so we got lots of water that area almost looks me think like they want you to like have the jetpack there but we're in my opinion, there's no way you would have got here pre-jetpack. Okay. Crush the plant. Just want to keep an eye out for secrets. Oh, I know what that sound means. Upgrade time! What do we got? Ramjet Vigor. Just turn my jet engine into a weapon. Well, that scorched in these mud plant life then. Play factor on turret too. Oh, that's what, that's crazy. Now you can just fly straight up and destroy stuff. That is ridiculous. Just kill everything. That's insane. Okay. There must be another entrance over here. Oh, wait here. 
upgrade card. Another upgrade cog, so we're after three upgrade cogs now. Oops, that's not what I wanted. You can use a pick, but this is way faster. Okay, so on this side, to give that a little the old smack. Just because they don't want you to progress without these upgrades is my thought on that, so. We're just fine. Nothing wrong with that. Mosquito line Minefield is what this area is called. Actually, I'm thinking maybe we will head up, empty our inventory here. I'm getting quite full. Good, 538. That's a lot, a lot of money. Um, well, we'll do upgrades first. It's definitely thinking of doing the jackhammer. Yeah, we're going to do the jackhammer. So what's the last one? Enhanced manuks allows for increased maximum operation with the cost of increased water usage. I don't know, I do like wind of speed. I think I'm fine with what I have. But I guess I have three new ones. What do I want to put those into? To the plates. And I still got two more. Touch bombs don't hurt you. Slow wind down, sure. I had to put them in something, so. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. What I was thinking is there's so much gold. I don't even know if. <laughs> How important is it for us to collect it anymore? Because there's just so much of it everywhere. Oop. Like, the whole game I was just making sure I collected every piece. And now it's it's almost like... Do I even want to bother? Or do I just want to go like straight down? Well, not that straight down, but... Okay, you can't kill these guys. Hmm. Is this really where we want to go? Looks like it. Oh, here's the device. Device of disaster. Another one down. Yeah. Nice to have something to do this with. Not to be on my own win. Hey, that was definitely an earthquake. Could have been a reaction to us striking that thing, I guess. When you find us, we're gonna have to explain all this. Don't worry, I've got your back. No secrets around here? Oh, okay. I'm sure if we can pour apart from here, yeah. You have to be outside of a cave to pour apart in. Which I, that's just what I thought. Okay, so we have one more in the Eastern Desert to do. May as well kind of clear our inventory because I don't think those items are found in the Eastern Cave. So, this is as far down as I've gone in the Easter Cave. And I think it's kind of... Like a showy thing. I think you have to kind of figure out which one of these is kind of the right way to go. So. May as well give it a shot. Chamber of Wheels. Okay. Easy enough. W. Sometimes I like using the hookshot rather than the jetpack. The jetpack is just kind of like meh. 
where the hookshot is so much more fun. Like, I almost would have done without the jetpack. The hook shot just makes it so much more fun. The jetpack just lets you do kind of whatever you'd like. I don't know. Once, I want to see the jetpack kill the game, but once I get the jetpack, like, I don't feel there's a lot of challenge left to it. It's kind of like spoiled my mood in a way. See, like, you can just hover and all that stuff. Okay. 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 I got it now. Use this one. Smack her around, and now we can smack her to the end. There you go. Got the upgrade cog, and this is the exit. Well, it's not like the exit, but it's the. It opens up the door. Perfect, and you can give us a little exit here, which is perfect. I was already planning to kind of work my way around. Oh, and the device is right here. I was that close to the device the whole time. Whoa, that's the last one. Whoa, that was a big one. Doesn't make sense. Thought we'd be rid of earthquakes now. Yeah, I'm sure it's the last of these devices. Got bad feeling about this. There are too many unanswered questions. Doomsday cults and talks jungles. I'm always rusty. Sure it's fishy. Maybe it's not rusty. Maybe Rosie's wrong. Or she's not telling us everything. Gotta get back to the oasis. We had to talk to Rosie. Oh. I think I figured it out. And if you guys have been watching the whole series, you've probably figured it out too. You know what they told us? Never trust a shiner. And everybody told us that we were crazy to trust a shiner. Well... We thought we were fine. Say, the purveyor's getting her rocket ready for blast off. Thought she was in that job. Now I'm thinking she's got the right idea, see? Space is completely unexplored. I might be no business opportunities. Managed to build a life on nothing before, kiddo. If anything, I'm prepared now than when I was a youngster. Um, I don't like to bother the professor. Maybe I ask her just take a look inside the rocket. Now that it's done. You know, it's really cool. Don't you think? Yeah, it's pretty cool. 24, yeah. Last, that Earth last Earth loop was seriously tremendous. Maybe Professor Sherman is correct. Maybe I'll have to force to leave this planet. Trying very best to prevent that from happening. Haven't you learned how to map the stars? Might be a wonderful challenge to think of it. Oops, shit. I just was shooting upwards. Okay, Sherman. What you got to say? We stable all the quake generators. My Saxmus readers have stopped jumping around. I've home in on a single point. That last cake came right out of China country. Really have to go down there and talk to Rosie. Good thing my rock is ready. Just some final preparations and I can leave if I have to. There you go. Is there anything to say? No. So we can do some upgrades if we need. I'm gonna take the flip just in case I need it, in case he's a boss battle or something. I'm surprised the mayor doesn't have anything to say, but that's fine. We're we'll head into Shiner Country. What's stopping you? Come on! It's strange. The two back to the oasis isn't working. Fisher and Fisher, maybe the ogre's clogged. We'll just have to dig the last stretch to get back there. So I believe it was below the wall we wanted to be at. I just want to do that just for the little bit of XP and gold. But that's that's the one thing that's really different between this game. I never really talked about is the gold's infinite. In the first game, the gold is very finite. You could actually lock yourself out 
from getting items because when you die you lose gold but there's no way to kind of get gold back the oasis the entrance is blocked yeah you think the earthquake did this let's find another in there talk to rosie there are a lot of pipes around maybe we can get through the drains Ooh, it's shaking i have a special thing that we found the under in these pipes in the underground jungle we did. And that's what that pipe is for. I was kind of wondering about that. Okay, we want to land. Fill up our port a pot. No? Oh, there you go. I was going to say my, my port, port doesn't want to fill up or what? Oh. There's an enemy here. I'm not sure if those guys count as enemies or not. Oops. I actually could have self-destructed. I don't really have any items. You only lose stuff if you self-destruct when you don't have any items. Hmm. Was it here? I don't particularly remember exactly where they were, but that's a super effective way to get around in here. I don't know if that's why they gave it to us or what. Yeah, I was right. Right here. Garblog. Okay, well there's one of it. Well that's where... Or is it further up? I don't remember exactly where that big opening was. Hmm. Okay, this one. Just because I don't got patience at the moment. Oop. Oh, you can only do it at the workbench. We'll go one more. Quickly. No? Just because I don't want to be kind of like fiddle around in the dark. We'll quickly turn on the map marker. But anyway guys, I think we'll call an episode here. I'm back in the next episode for more. Thanks guys. Later.